on Josie Webb's 13th birthday, her aunt gave her a book. Pick up those eyes and enunciate. Her aunt gave her a book that changed her life. It was a volume of Maya Angelou poems. After Josie read, and still I rise, she knew she didn't want to be a, a ballet dancer or a nurse. She wanted to be a poet. Stop fidgeting. You are a voice in this world. So, it was a proud day when she graduated from Hillman with a degree in English literature and high honors. That was the spring of 1992. By the following spring, Josie Webb had died of acquired immune deficiency syndrome, disease we all know as AIDS. I didn't get AIDS from a blood transfusion or by doing drugs. I got it by having unprotected sex with my boyfriend junior year in high school. I knew Frank was smart, fine, team star quarterback. Neither of us knew he was HIV positive. Lying on the grass on a humid night, looking up at the stars, you just know you're going to live forever. Lying on the grass, it's impossible to imagine that five years later, you'll be lying in a hospital bed with pneumocystis pneumonia and a few years to live. <sighs> Nothing like an AIDS war to teach you that youth is not immortality. More than anything, youth is the power to make choices. Now that I'm gone, I ask one thing of you. Remember, always to choose life. for your honesty. How long have you known? Since last summer. <gasps> Professor, I am so sorry that I'm late. But you're just in time for an F. Sit down. <laughs> Excuse me, Josie? What's it like? I mean, how do you feel every day? Some days fine. Other days not so fine. I take a lot of medicine. I don't, um, I, I, I don't understand. This is not a woman's disease. Tell that to the 16,000 women who have it with you. They use drugs and they, they do perverted things. AIDS is not a moral judgment. How come she couldn't tell by... By looking at him, because you can tell by looking at him. Looking at me, could you tell I was dying? Girl, she lives right down the hall from me. I gotta change dorms. <laughs> Gina, to get AIDS, there has to be an exchange of bodily fluids. That's why people get it from transfusions, needles, sex. I I've never had any of the above. <laughs> Aren't I mean, you can't get it from kissing. Well, they're not completely sure, Terrence, but it's highly unlikely. I want to thank all the women in this room who held out on me. 